So today is turn in day for the Subaru. Um, tonight we are just starting to prepare our documents so that we have everything in order. Um, of everything that needs to be completed. Um, so we are going through that to verify that we have done each step, made sure it's clean and can pass a white glove inspection inside and outside. Your fuel tank has to be a quarter of a tank or less. Cameron's plan, if you get there with too much fuel, is to just sit in the parking lot and rev it until it goes down. <laughs> um, provide your keys. You have to remove all of these personal items. You really have to, really have to have a completely empty car besides safety um, things. Like you can have tie down straps and jumper cables. That's pretty much it. Uh, your brakes have to be working. No leaks. Absolutely no cracks in the windshield. Your battery basically has to be brand new. Your fluids all have to be full. You have to have an EPA and DOT sticker on the car. Um, additional cleaning. It even goes into the door jams specifically. Um, it's pretty intense. And then um, it kind of tells you what happens there. So we're just making sure we have all of our forms in order that they've asked for. Um, the forms they filled out. We had to do orders. We have to provide copies of IDs, registration, proof of insurance, insurance card, and the most challenging thing, the lien holder letter stating that it's okay for our car to be shipped that actually needed a pen signature. Um, so it was really difficult to get, but other than that, we um, have managed to um, get everything done. So, getting the car ready to drop off to go to Alaska has been a lot of prep work. Yesterday, Cameron washed the car entirely. I vacuumed it inside and out over the weekend and then again just now um, to ensure that it is will pass the white glove inspection. Luckily it's a brand new car so there isn't a lot of filth to accumulate yet but um, it does have to pass a white glove inspection meaning that there can absolutely be no dust, no nothing even inside the door jams everywhere. Um, we have all of our paperwork in line. He is waking up early in the morning around 3 to head out to South Carolina. Um, he is going to rewash it when he gets there purely because already there's water spots and other things from having washed it and it's going to accumulate more. I just did the last set of vacuuming. But I will add that it's not a great day because after having washed it yesterday and went over it with a fine tooth comb, parking it and coming back out today, we discovered that someone um, had ran into it overnight. So brand new car and someone has already <laughs> done their damage and no idea who or what and I mean yeah shit happens but still kind of upsetting. So this is nice sending it off tomorrow with a fresh ding. Am I right? I mean, shit happens and this is literally the story of our lives, so I'm glad you're here to experience how every time we feel like we have something figured out, um, one more thing just happens and kind of knocks us back down again that we have to get up over and keep on a trucking. So that's the Subaru. It did have previously, um, while we were here, we got an engine clock heater installed the Snifilo plug and we have a battery warmer installed because our temperatures we could experience will could be as low as negative 60 and the car needs it in order to turn on so we have done um work as far as that and on another day we will talk about um the Acura specifically with all of the maintenance we have put in to get that ready for its actual 5,000 mile plus drive to Alaska so Good luck, Subaru. I'm sure you'll probably get more scratches along the way.